Well, good morning. It's uh, the 28th of December. And, uh, I moved yesterday into my new apartment. It's a bigger, nicer, nicer neighborhood. About a hundred dollars less a month, and uh, it's closer to the gym, so I can walk. And uh, so I see Jason Cisneros does his walks um, much earlier in the morning. I didn't feel like getting up that early this morning. Got up early and meditated, and then I laid back down. But I'm headed to the gym. I uh, didn't read scripture yesterday. I started, uh, when you do the algorithm with uh, Facebook and YouTube, that when you look up content or when you do a video and there's enough information so they can glean the topic that you're talking about, you start getting uh, feeds. On similar topics. And man, after I did my talk on Revelation yesterday, I started getting all these videos from uh, these rabbis. They're Messianic Jewish rabbis. What that basically means they are Jews that practice the Jewish faith but also believe in Jesus. Okay, they believe Christ, Jesus was the Christ, Jesus was the Messiah, okay, and uh, that was, you know, and, and so I'm listening to this one guy, and as he's talking, he starts talking about uh, all the different countries where there's the most death and destruction from natural disasters, Hurricanes, volcanoes, earthquakes, and he notices that that in Christian and Jewish faith nations, there's less death from natural disasters, and he makes a point that it's not that there's less natural disasters in those regions. But all of these Christian nations have protocols for natural disasters. You know, like, uh, and he gave a couple examples, like a earthquake in, uh, there was an earthquake in LA, in California, and it was a, like six days later, there was an earthquake, almost the same, uh, same value on the Richter scale in Iran. And it was like nobody died in California, and it was like hundreds died in Iran. And, and of course, living in California, I was in, I was in the Northridge earthquake in the 11th floor of the Four Seasons Hotel. And, uh, you know, it cracked the building, the one side of the building was trying to separate, right? But it, it was fit it and building skyscrapers in Los Angeles. Code, they have these rollers that actually just help it absorb the the shaking and the shock from earthquakes. So they they don't damage the building as much. It, it takes it takes absorbs that shock. Or they didn't have that in, in Iran, right? And and the reason is is because of the imagination. And I'm like, oh my God, he's just right there, right? So, the um, faith, 
faith is imagination with action. Okay? And, and the imagination is the communication of God. Okay? And so that is just confirmed everything I, I learned reading the Bible, looking for when the characters of the Bible are not just mine versus not just mine. The, uh, yeah, Moses was hung up in a subconscious loop. He uh, recounted the going up to uh, Mount Sinai to get the tablets 14 times in Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, right? But I don't know how many times. He also gives all the details, the minute measurements and angles and details and direction of facing walls and everything like that of the tabernacles and the Ark of the Covenant. A whole bunch of times. My, my my stepfather was a builder in the Sea Beast and a cement mason and block layer by trade. <laughs> and he'd be like sitting in a chair and start sketching on a legal pad. Next thing you know, we we're building a barn. <laughs> and it's just. You know, he was he was taking his imagination, his vision, and putting that paper. And then from that point on, that became a reality. Okay, so my so I'm talking with my buddy. He's he was back yesterday. Helped me move. Pastor Mike Caballero, and uh, then he had me over for barbecue last night, and uh, we were talking about in Revelations how the the emphasis in Revelations, you know, all the the, the spirit creatures. You know, those are representations of, you know, principalities of Judah, and Syria, and Babylon, and Persia back in the day. But that could also be, you know, you know, Iran and. Um, Egypt, and, uh, Russia, and China, and the United States now, right? It all depends on what your, what your head is at, what you do, what you get out of it, right? But really all it is, all it is, is those are consequences of not keeping your focus on Jesus. And God's word. Okay. He just got all excited about about that, and then we started talking about the uh, the vision. He's real good when he preaches. He's able to get that, you know, um, emphasize that emotion. You know, imagine talking about like Abraham. You know, imagine what what that must have been like. You know, going going up to sacrifice your son. You know, your your only son, and you're you know over a hundred years old. It took this much time to happen. Now you're gonna just you know sacrifice him, and and, uh, and then he ties that around to how do you, that's how you know. Imagine how how God must have felt, you know, when uh, 
and sacrifice in Jesus. Exactly the way, you know, he wanted to be, that God wanted to be, and acting the right way and being totally obedient, right? And you know, gonna die a brutal death, right? But he's he's got the way of, I mean, he pulled that emotion out. pleasures and, and greed and lust and, and uh, you know, things that were important, you know, it, it's harder for, you know, it's, it's harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven than a camel to fit through the eye of a needle. this gate into Jerusalem. It's a very narrow gate. And the only way a camel can get in the gate is if you take off everything it's carrying. Okay. Well, it's even harder than that. Okay. You can't just let, you know, I guess it's not just letting go of all your earthly possessions. Right? And, and status and power and control but it's also you know given all of that focus and all of that desire to God alright I don't know if you can hear me the wind is kind of moving pretty good coming out of the south today and uh Usually means it's gonna rain. Um, it's this time of year. It's like it comes up on the south and then that pressure builds up and comes right back. A little cloudy today, so it's probably gonna be raining. But there's a metaphor there, huh? The, uh, yeah, that has really been good to me. It took me a long time to to see where his hand was on my hand. All right, and now that I understand, I see it every second, every minute. All right, I'm fixing to do my Navy SEAL calisthenic PT at uh, Planet Fitness today, and uh, then I unpack my new apartment and start planning and writing out my vision for 2012. Have a blessed day.